Hello, welcome to the GTP South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we'll continue to bring you informative videos. There are two men in South Sudan's political arena who gave President Salva Kiir and his right hand man, General Akol Kor Kuch, sleepless nights. These are Honorable Nial Deng Nial and General Paul Malongawan, both Honorable Nial and Gerald Malong are Liberation War veterans. They are popular in their own right due to their outspokenness. The modern day South Sudan has reverted to the old Sudan's ways, i.e. hating truth and sowing the seeds of injustice, ethnic chauvinism, hypocrisy and backwardness, courtesy of the mafia system run by President Kiir and his right hand man, General Akol Kor. While we appreciate Honorable Nial Deng and General Malung for not kowtowing to President Kiir and General Akol, there are telltale signs of the two leaders, bracket Nial and Malung, doing it for the sake of public relations. In other words, Honorable Nial and General Malung are not sincere in their criticism of President Kiir and General Akol under whom South Sudan has descended into the abyss of poverty and lawlessness. As for Honorable Nial, we will handle his disinterest in challenging President Kiir at the ballot on another day. This video is purely focused on the three reasons why the indefatigable General Malone secretly supports President Kiir's 2024 bid. Let's get the ball rolling. Number one, bailing out Val Malone your junior. Elias Young Tycoon. Val Malong Yor Jr. Elias Young Tycoon published a video in which he disclosed to the public that the first lady of South Sudan, Ayan Mayadi, paid US dollars two million to bail him out of the Ugandan jail. For those who don't know Val Malong Yor Jr., he is the adopted son of General Malong. Rumor has it that Lual runs General Malong businesses. When General Malong fell out with President Kiir, and General Akol a few years ago, his business assets were confiscated by the duo. Many South Sudanese may take this act by the First Lady, Ayan Mayadi, as just out of mere fitty or kindness bestowed upon Dual. However, this was a smoke screen. This act was done to soften General Malone's hard stand on President Kiir's 2024 bid. As for Lual, the young tycoon, we wish him the best as he enjoys his newfound freedom and refunded wealth. Number two, disinterested in the 2024 general elections, General Malone's SSUF, bracket South Sudan United Prawn, is a paper tiger political party. Up to date, the party has not had a single headquarters anywhere in the Republic. To run in an election, political party's fractures are a matter of life and death. Fortunately, General Malone's SSUF is still asleep. It makes us wonder what is the end game of General Malone. To spill the beans, General Malone could have been approached by the SPLM bigwigs not to challenge his former boss, President Kiir, in the 2024 general elections. Number three, withdraw from attacking President Kiir and General Akol politically. Of late, General Malone has gone mute. He no longer issues blistering attacks on President Kiir or his employee, General Akol, as he used to do in the past. In fact, General Malone has completely self-censored himself, leaving millions of South Sudanese at the mercy of President Kiir and General Akol's wayward dictatorial leadership. What we can deduce from General Malone's silence is a subterranean endorsement of the prelates farce. South Sudan has taken under President Kiir and General Akol. Probably President Kiir and General Akol might have given General Malone a condition to let go of the fight and support President Kiir's 2024 bid in return for the release of his confiscated businesses in Juba and across the region. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to other GTB South Sudan Global.